Hi everyone. So I just started filming this and then I knocked the table and then lamp fell over. It was great. Uh, so I started again. Uh, I'm here with my stuff from the San Francisco Pin Show and a cup of tea. So let's dive in. I went with a budget. I brought cash. I stuck to the budget. I actually stayed under the budget. Now, this is mostly everything I got. I got two bottles of the ink. This is a show special ink. Um, and we're going to swatch it. Exciting. Um, but let's talk about what did I think of this. This is the first pen show I've been to. It was pretty great. Um, overwhelming. I think there were, I, I was looking for the swatching stations where you could check out inks. But I only found one. And then I kind of felt like there's got to be more than this. But I didn't find any others. Uh, I didn't look that hard because there wasn't that much ink there. Or a lot of it was the same uh, brands. Um, anyway, I won't get into that. So, what did I get? Well, the guy, Arnie Tall who makes these little crabs. He was there, so I got a couple little crabs. Let's take them out of here. Um, this one is so pretty. It's blue and green. Aww. And then this is one of the special paint jobs. It looked a little more teal. And in, pers and in this light, it looks a little more green, but lovely. So, these friends will sit in the corner here. They'll hold pins for me. Um, then I got, there. I, I mentioned this already, there was a show special ink. So it was by Vinta. And... Every time I get Aventa inks, I'm like looking at this and thinking like, I can't read this. I need my glasses. Because the name of the color is on here. So this is called Purple Sea Star 2022. Um, we'll swatch this in a mo. Um, I got a bottle for myself and then I got a bottle to share. So I'll be making samples for friends and whatever. Maybe I'll send the rest of the bottle. Maybe I'll keep it. And then the main reason I went to the show was actually to get a pen by Franklin Kristoff. Because I was like, I want one of their pens. Um, so I got one. This pen. Um, I thought I wanted a Model 46. I went and tried out a bunch, and I did want a Model 46. And here it is. I don't know. I can't tell if it's showing up as wonderful as it is. It is a diamond cast blue. 46 is very similar to the 45, but comes with a size 6 nib. I got... Broad. Now, I tried their, they have a custom grind called SIG, which I think stands for Standard Italic Gradient. Um, but I didn't love it. I don't think I love, or so maybe it's stub, not standard, stub, stub italic gradient. I just, I have a stub pen I just got from Twisby and I don't love it. And I was writing with theirs and it was wonderful. It wrote very well, but I didn't love it. So I thought, Psh, nope, let's just get broad. So I did. There were a couple other pins that grabbed my eyes at their table, but they weren't quite what I wanted. So they had the Salmon Glow. I'll be honest, that one was exceptionally tempting because it's called Salmon, but it's pretty pink. Um, and I didn't get that. Surprise. It was lovely, but and then there was some of their clear ones, but I realized when holding them, I don't like the really clear ones because I don't want to eyedropper them and I don't love the way converters look inside really clear pins or cartridges for that matter. 
that's a me thing. There's nothing wrong with that look. It's just not my preference. So I skipped those. But I am looking again at one that's on their site right now. And then I didn't realize that Jonathan Brooks and the Carolina Pen Company would be there. But they were. And I spent a bunch of time at this table and thought, and then I left. For the love of, sorry, the light really wants to come see you. Like, like, hold up. Hold up. Light. The light's coming off the table now. There you go. I hope you've learned your lesson. You're in timeout. Sorry, friends. <laughs> For the over, over amorous light. <laughs> anyway, I sat at his table. There was one pin that drew me in. And I felt like I should get that pin if it's drawing my attention so much. And it was a gradient of blue, a beautiful sort of uh, sea blue. Rather, I, I mean, well, maybe not. Maybe it was kind of like this blue. It was a blue. Okay, look, it was blue. Um, it was a blue, pink, and purple translucent sparkle pen. And gosh, it was beautiful. It was so beautiful. And as I thought about it, I realized it was not that dissimilar from the Bennu pen I have. And I didn't want to get a pen that was the same as something I owned already. Diversify, Maria. Don't keep buying the same pen. <clears throat> so I left the table to think about it. And I thought, well, if I'm meant to have one of these pens and I go back and there's still a pen that grabs my eye... So I went back and I, again, spent like five minutes, ten minutes, I don't know, looking at all the pens and picking them up and putting them down. And in the end, I settled on this. This is the Charleston model. The finish on it is a matte. I'd almost call it like... There's this trend in nail polishes for a while where they would do like a rubber finish. So not totally matte, but like more, um, it's like matte, but with just the hint of a polish on it. So this is polished, but not shiny. And it's so lovely. I don't know if the colors are coming through because I can't tell. I'm looking at the screen and I just, it's at the wrong level and. My light, you saw it. It was not doing much for us. I could try putting it in the light. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll take you off and look at you. Look at it over there. And we'll do that with this pen, too. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Oh. The Franklin Kristoff I got is a diamond cast. So, yeah. It is a... Um, has diamond dust in it. So there's the two pins in all their glory. This is it staying focused. It told me to move back. So Beautiful, right? So as I'm checking out and paying, and he said, um, oh, and the name of this material is Mermaid's Tears. And I was like, wait, what? Because friends, remember I said I didn't want to get a pen that was the same as a pen I already had? I have a pen from Woodshed Pens. And the material is... Mermaid's Tears. <laughs> now, they do look really different from one another. So I'm not upset with myself that I got what is literally the same material. And this is actually, I think, one of the glories of um, 
handmade materials. They're never going to turn out exactly the same way. So they truly are unique. Um, not just unusual, but actually one of a kind. So, oh, you're lovely, but let's put you over there. So if we could look at these next to each other, yeah, they're the same material, but would you know it? I mean, not, and not just because of the matte versus the gloss, and I think you can really tell the difference there, but this, this, the sort of striations on it go this way more, and this is more like swirly. So... That was the pen sitch. Um, <laughs> I do think it's funny, although I'll say this, this is one of my favorite pens. I love it. Like the, just the aesthetics of it are so perfect. Now let's see if we can get this back in the thing. That worked pretty well. Good job, Maria, I'm proud of you. I haven't inked these pens. They were like, do you want us to ink these? And I'm like, nope, because Inks 30 days is coming soon. And I don't want extra pins inked up. I will ink one and then just not use it. But um, there was other things of note. So there was this group, the uh, book binding. And so let me tell you, I made this, I haven't shown this off. I've made this journal slash book for myself. Um, using this, he had one using, oh, it's, it's noon. He had one using almost the same exact map. And so I pulled it out cause I brought this with me in case I wanted to write. And, um, then he was like looking at me and I'm like, oh, sorry. Cause I didn't think from his point of view, it looks like I've just stolen something. I'm like, I'm sorry. It just looks so similar to the one I just made myself. And he, and he laughed and he's like, yeah, I think I've used that before. And he apologized to me for thinking that I might've stolen something, but I'm like, are you kidding me? No, you were right. I'm sorry. <laughs> because I've worked in retail. And anyway, so that was these folks, they are sort of local. I'm hiding their contact information because I don't know that I want to show that because they may not want that. And then um, another pen company, this guy had the table next to Jonathan Brooks or Carolina Pen Company. His pens were really dope. They are, most of the ones that he had were fairly minimalist and just beautifully made. And then Enigma Blanks, they are the table that was selling this ink, and they had a lot of cool stuff. They had pride flags, like pride um, washi tape that was just super amazing. Um, in a, they had a rainbow pride, trans pride, and then um, I can't remember if the last one was NB or Ace. Um, then here is my thing. Uh, this, these were the, all the inks that I swatched. This one wasn't writing at all. And then it got like all over my fingers. And I was like, well, it looks like I don't know how to use pens. Um, anyway. So, enough about that. Let's swatch an ink. I'm like raring to go. I've lost my card. Where are you? Here you are. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. You know, I was supposed to take a big hike today, but I couldn't sleep. Like, I didn't sleep well. I shouldn't say I couldn't sleep. I didn't sleep well. And so I thought it would be sort of irresponsible to, like, try and take an epic 15-mile hike when I was not rested. But then maybe I should have. No, I think the first time I do that, I should be rested. And then after that, it's fine when I'm not. Okay, I don't think this is shimmery or anything, but now it's noon and I got to find a place to hike. I have an idea. I think I'm going to go to to uh, Fort Cronkite. Um, okay, what is this? Purple Sea Star. Good. 
this isn't going to want to happen. Um, I gotta burn this. Where's my lighter? Okay. Professional. I didn't leave enough space. It's going to be tight. We're going to make it work. Right? Shut up. It got there. All right, 20, 22. Good job, Maria. You did it. Perfectly. <laughs> I'll probably put this in my Carolina Pin Company. Uh, pen. Because why not? I have to be careful though. I'm going to like end up getting, dripping this into my tea. Let's move my mug. Ooh, it's getting to be that perfect temperature. I better hurry up. It's funny that I wrote the words first. I don't think I usually do that. But now I don't remember. That's <laughs> so what happens when you watch other people swatch more than you actually swatch yourself. Should we do it? Yeah. It's getting really warm. I have to like finish so that I can close the blinds. If you've never lived somewhere where it gets really hot... I don't have AC, so the rules are during the day, the windows stay closed and the blinds stay closed. At night, when it cools down, however much it cools down, sometimes it's not a lot, you open everything up and you put fans in there, one side blowing in and the other side of the house blowing out and you get to good circulation and everything's great. Um... That's the rules. And I'm breaking the rules for this video. I'm a rebel, Dottie. Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't. Well, it's fine. Is it fine? It's fine. Oh, it's nice. Hey, look at it. We have more sunlight now. So here's purple sea star. Here they're doing some fun things on paper. Here it is on some Tomoe River. You can see it's a nice shading, kind of a multi-chromatic. So I thought I could see how it compares to any of the other inks I have. Even if it's like an identical to another ink I have, that wouldn't have stopped me from getting it. I'm not gonna lie. So, um, so this is actually an interesting comparison here. Here it is next to Milky Ocean. 
So this is purpler. That's bluer. But they're fairly close. Um, other ones kind of similar. Dawn from Dominant Industry. It's a Colt Pens exclusive color. Um, Mystic Mountain, not very close. Eroded Bronze, nope. Um, but wait, there's more. I feel like Bellaton Keck? No. Orgona? This is more saturated. Um, so... Wait, I'm confused what just happened. Something bad happened. Alphabet failed. Oh no, I know what happened. Okay. I think it's going to be similar to Sailor Manyo Nekoyanagi. These are pretty close. The Venta looks more saturated. And then if we want to see it next to Nadashiko. This is more blue, and in fact, I'm going to show you this. One of these inks is far more difficult to acquire than the other, but I just want to point out, Nadashiko and Milky Ocean are pretty close. Anyway, so here's Purple Sea Star. I, I don't have anything quite like it, so I'm very excited. Anyway, I am schwitzing. I need to take a walk. I need to close this blind. So that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed seeing all the fun things I got at the San Francisco Pen Show. Um, I thought it was pretty fun. And I will probably go again next year. But we'll see. Um, thanks. Bye.